Hey everybody, uh, so today we're going to be adding the chorus to Damn the River and we're also going to be doing a little bit of a lead break at the start. Okay, so you remember the verse to Damn the River goes A minor, E minor, E minor, and E minor. And our strum is up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, like that. When we get to the chorus, we're going to be doing two D's and two C's. And our strum is the down, down, up, up, down. Um, so it's two of those strums on a D, two on a C, and we repeat that whole thing four times. So a whole, whole chorus will go. So I'm going to go through a verse and a chorus. Uh, for the verse, we're just going to do this A minor, B minor, B minor, B minor, B minor four times, and then chorus D D C C four times. I'm going to do that just once at quite a slow pace, and then I'll do it again a little bit faster. See so if you've got something to practice towards. Um, okay, so slow the first time, about this speed. One, That was slow for practice, um, and you probably want to do that a few times, but the sort of speed we're aiming for eventually is more like... Uh, so I'm going to go through the same thing, the verse and then the chorus, not quite that fast, but heading towards it, uh, so you've got something to practice up to. Uh, so we'll go for something like...
um, just stick at that one and uh, try and practice towards having a bit more pace in there. Watch out for making all the notes ring out on your B minor. There. Cool, okay, so moving on, we're going to do the lead part. Um, the lead sounds like this. Okay, so moving on, we're going to do the lead part, and the lead should sound like this. Um, so that's what we're going for. Now you notice we're putting our fingers in these little shapes. Um, I like to think of them as the sort of shapes that they would be down here. So. If I was playing a shape like this down here, that would be a D minor chord. So I like to think of that as a D minor shape. Um, similarly, this one here, if I was to do that kind of shape down here, that would be your B minor. So I kind of think of it as a B minor -y shape. So here we have a D minor -y shape, a B minor -y shape, and just an old fashioned bar. Um, the actual chords that we're playing there, if you are interested in uh, B minor, F sharp minor, C sharp minor, and F sharp minor. So when you play this one, that's the B minor, that's the F sharp minor, C sharp minor, and another F sharp minor. Uh, you can think of them that way, you can think of them as a D minor shape on this fret. That's the 10th fret, and a B minor shape on the 9th fret, and a bar on the 14th fret. Um, or you could just think of them as this thingy and that thingy, or whatever. Um, so, we'll go from the start. The first shape that we're doing is this D minor -y shape. So we're going to have our index finger, 10th fret. We're going to have our ring finger on the 12th fret. So our index finger's on the E string. Ring finger's on the B string. Middle finger's going to go on the 11th fret on the G string. We're just playing the bottom three strings. So we start by doing that four times. We're going to put our little finger down on the twelfth fret. Then we're going to take it off again. So the whole thing should go four times. Then on with the little finger. Then off with the little finger. And we should get a sound like this. time. Okay, the next thing we do is play a single note. The note is E um, and it's our index finger. It's going to go on the ninth fret on the G string like that and that's going to lead us into our second shape which is this one here. Okay, so this shape here, the chord F sharp minor or the shape of B minor if you like. Uh, we're going to have our ring finger on the 11th fret on the G string. We're going to have our middle finger on the 10th fret on the B string. And we're going to have our index finger on the 9th fret on the E string. Okay, so having played that single note, the 9th fret, we then put down these two fingers, and that one can come down later. Um, and the way we play it is we play the G and the B strings together three times. bottom string, the E string. Okay, so the total sound there should be Okay, the only other thing you need to know there is that when we play the G and the B strings together three times, there's a gap after the second. So it goes one, two, gap. So you'll notice when you're coming from your ninth fret here we're only using these two fingers and these two strings at first, so while you're doing that, your index finger has time to migrate down in time for that stroke there. So it should, in slow motion, look like this. Like that. Okay? And the sound should be... Okay, so the first half of our lead part is...
The second half is exactly the same as the first chord, but we're moving it up two frets. So that's our D minor E shape with our index finger on the 12th fret of the E string. Uh, our ring finger is going to go on the 14th fret on the B string, and our middle finger is going to go on the 13th fret on the G string. Like that, and same deal with the little finger on and off. Just like that. So it's four strokes. Little finger on, little finger off. Yep. And the total sound is... So if we play the three parts now, we should have... Okay, so the last bit sounds like this. And we're just using our index finger as a bar. Now, you can either cover all three of the strings, the G and the B and the E strings, on the 14th fret. Or, if you have a guitar like this, it doesn't have a cutaway, that's quite a stretch for your finger, so you can just cover the bottom two strings if you like, and just play the bottom two strings. It doesn't make too much difference. Okay, what we're doing there is, we're going to do two strokes, then we're going to reach out our ring finger, to the 17th fret, last one with a marker, we play one there, and one with it off again. So the whole thing should sound like... Okay, so our four parts, the first part was... second part was... third part... Last part. Okay, and if we put all of that together, then we should get something that sounds like this. Okay, so that's what we're going for. I'm going to play that through twice a little bit slower so you've got something to practice along to. Um, about this. Same again. One, two, three, four. Cool. Okay, happy strumming. I'll see you next week.